Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. On today's episode, we are going to be looking at some of the biggest hacks that have ever happened in history and just how much damage they caused. Be sure to stick around for that and to learn why cybersecurity is important, the biggest cyber attacks in history, the who's, when's, and how's. The Melissa Virus, 1999. Even though it happened well over 20 years ago, this hack was an incredibly devastating one, causing many ripple effects that affected millions of people and caused the loss of tens of millions of dollars. The most surprising bit about it was just how simple the responsible virus was. The virus was created by a person called David Smith, and it would target Microsoft Word documents on the computer where it was sent. One of the reasons why it caused so much damage was the fact that it replicated and spread so easily, usually without being prompted deliberately. Once it was sent into a computer, it would automatically attach to Microsoft Word documents and multiply itself as an attachment by means of email. Once this was done, it would proceed to automatically send itself to the first 50 contacts on the affected person's mailing list, causing damage and havoc as it spread. Even though the creator of this virus did not intend to cause a lot of damage, the bug caused loads of losses as far as valuable information was concerned. It is estimated that people lost about $80 million as a result. The culprit was arrested and imprisoned for 20 months, and antivirus sales reached an all-time peak that year from both affected and weary buyers. Yahoo! 2013 to 2014. This is likely one of the hugest cyber attacks in history, judging by the sheer number of people and accounts that were affected by the hack. The most interesting bit is that this site received two major attacks that saw up to 3 billion users affected globally. To show you the sheer magnitude of this attack, nearly half the population of the world was affected in the course of that one year. When the first attack occurred in 2013, it soon became apparent that approximately 500 million Yahoo users had been affected and that their most important credentials, such as usernames, passwords, real names, date of birth, and even phone numbers had been altered, causing a conundrum. Later, this number rose by another half a billion users. And by the end of 2017, Yahoo had confirmed that 3 billion accounts had been affected in the cyber attack, Defense Department, and NASA, 1999. In one of the scariest and possibly hardest to believe incidences, a young boy of just 15 years hacked into what could very well have been the most secure sites in the country. Jonathan James, an incredibly smart young man, managed to gain entrance into computers belonging to the United States DOD. Through an installed backdoor, the young man was able to intercept a couple thousand emails and also access several Army computers that had sensitive information. Additionally, he hacked into NASA and managed to acquire a highly valuable software that was claimed to be responsible for controlling, to a large degree, the International Space Station. Sina Weibo, March 2020. China's version of Twitter, this site was dealt a hard blow in the beginning of 2020, in what was a massive hack that exposed the phone numbers, real names, genders, usernames, and locations of at least 172 million users. Sina Weibo witnessed what was possibly the largest loss of crucial information yet. However, the fact that passwords were not stolen is likely why the information sold for very little money slightly over $250. It is estimated that all of its 500 million users could have been exposed. Mafia Boy Attacks, 2000 In a series of multiple cyber attacks that saw many national and multinational institutions suffer, a young man of just 15, Michael Kals, also commonly known as Mafia Boy, unleashed a destructive DDoS attack on multiple websites that include CNN, Amazon, eBay, and Yahoo. While it could have been an innocent kid's attempt at playing a prank, this singular act ended up causing a massive loss of money. When the damage was assessed, experts estimated that the total loss could have been well over $1.2 billion. He was apprehended for his crimes, but seeing as he was a minor, he was sentenced to eight months in open custody, and the courts also limited, to a large extent, his overall interaction with the internet. That's all for today. Thanks a lot for watching. Please consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel to catch all of our latest videos. Do let us know what you'd like us to cover next. See you on the next one.